Hurricane Harvey is rapidly intensifying in the western Gulf of Mexico. I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Video Update page here on YouTube with the latest on our strengthening hurricane in the western Gulf, and that is Hurricane Harvey. You can see there that is the main game in town in the Atlantic Basin, and it is sitting over very favorable conditions, very hot water, and it is strengthening very quickly. Uh, the pressure has been falling precipitously throughout the day, and it is now a hurricane and a uh, mid-range Category 1 forecast to be a major hurricane at landfall. You can see Hurricane Harvey sitting there tightly coiled. That's one key about this storm, even though the rainfall is expected to be prolific. And I'll tell you about that. The fact that it's tightly coiled right now means that tighter storms can spin up or down more rapidly. And that unfortunately seems to be what Hurricane Harvey is doing at this point in time. Now uh, we had a special update as of 2 p.m. Eastern which is 1 p.m. Central from the Hurricane Center and uh, I should note winds are up to 85 miles per hour. Uh, the Air Force, our hurricane hunters have been flying out there just ridiculously the last 12 hours getting very very good data and uh, they are confirming the fact that it is strengthening. Uh, the hurricane was at 24.4 north, 93.6 west. It was moving north-northwest at 10. The pressure has been dropping down as slow as 979 millibars, and unfortunately it is forecast to continue to intensify into a Category 3, perhaps even a Category 4 hurricane, prior to U.S. landfall here along the Texas coastline. We do have those hurricane warnings, by the way, all the way from areas say Port Mansfield up to Matagorda and again do not focus on that line in the middle because the impacts will be far and wide and there will be adjustments as the hurricane closes in on the coast but it's still a couple of days away so obviously you have time now to uh, take action take action obviously we have evacuations being ordered Port Aransas these are areas that have been hit by monster hurricanes in the past uh, Carla, 1961, comes to mind. Celia, uh, 1970. Uh, we also had Hurricane Alicia, which was up in 1983 in the Houston area, but this looks to be coming in further south and much stronger than even Alicia. So this is a bad hurricane, okay? This is a serious hurricane. And if you live along the Texas coastline, or even where there are the tropical storm watches and warnings, down to northern Mexico, and even areas further to the east in Louisiana, you guys need to be overlooking what you would do in the event of not just evacuations, but also bad flooding, things like that. So it's very serious. You can see the computer models stick it around for a couple of days, which is why we're expecting prolific rainfall. Look at this GFS model. This is the uh, 12Z GFS. Look at the rainfall over the coming days in areas of Texas and Louisiana. Ridiculous. Feet and feet of rain. Just ridiculous amounts as the hurricane comes in and then kind of loops around a bit. We're unsure, obviously, as to where exactly it goes, but as these systems come over land, they'll start to uncoil, and that will increase the uh, dramatic rainfall risk. And it's not just the rain, of course, it's the wind. You can see the uh, 12Z GFS has this getting down to 938 millibars, which is about a Category 4 hurricane. So this is very, very serious. The European model, I should note, the 12Z, has it coming ashore somewhere in the general vicinity of Matagorda Bay, and you can see the impacts there. Right now, hurricane force winds are about 20 to 30 miles from the center, uh, which means it has plenty of room to contract and strengthen, which is why we're so scared about this hurricane right now. Well, there he is. There's Harvey on the visible taking a uh, very small hurricane, a very impressive, tightly wound August hurricane over the hot waters of the Gulf of Mexico. You can see the eye there spinning around. It's been kind of intermittent. It's been popping out and going away and coming back and going away. However, it does seem like we are due for some serious intensification over the next 24 hours as it continues its march towards Texas. And uh, the upper level outflow here looking very favorable, to say nothing uh, of the deep thunderstorms wrapping around the eye of the hurricane there. So Hurricane Harvey is strengthening. It's strengthening at a pretty quick pace, and it is headed for the United States, and it looks like it will be a major hurricane when it gets there. 
Now, the radar imagery, it doesn't quite show the eye yet, but you're beginning to see the outer fringes in the long-range radar. And you can see as it continues to get closer, these rain bands are going to get worse and worse. Okay, so if you're in Victoria right now, near Port Aransas, where you have a mandatory evacuation order, you're going to start to see dark skies, gusty winds, rainfall, as these bands and squall lines from the hurricane come in. Again, and it's not just Texas. Look it up in the Louisiana Lake Charles. You guys are going to have some afternoon thunderstorms, partly in association, by the way, with the hurricane. So even if uh, you have time now to still prepare for the next 12 hours or so, uh, weather could start to go downhill quickly. And when it does go downhill quickly with these smaller hurricanes, it does happen quickly, okay? There's another look at the visible satellite. You can see the coastlines there of uh, Texas and Louisiana to the north, and the eye of the hurricane wrapping up there looking much better defined than 24 hours ago, obviously. And look at these little streaks, the clouds fanning out around Harvey. That's an indication that the environment is very favorable at the upper levels for further intensification, and a Category 3 or perhaps even a Category 4 hurricane cannot be ruled out. And so this is kind of a double whammy. Not only are we going to have a major hurricane impact along the U.S. coast, which is devastating, but we're also going to have a slowdown which will create prolific rainfall and flooding. With any major hurricane, you're going to get a lot of rain. But if they move slow, it's just bad news all around. So again, Hurricane Harvey continuing towards the coastline. There's the upper level winds, the wind shear. You can see the anticyclone is a bit to its south. Uh, but nevertheless, light shear compared to what it had all through the week in the Caribbean Sea when it wouldn't develop. And there's the shear tendency showing, obviously, much more favorable wind shear in the western Gulf. And hot water, even some indications that an eddy broke off and there's a pool of hot water that Hurricane Harvey is going to cross over the next 12 to 18 hours, which could contribute to further intensification of this system. Now... Before I leave you on this update, I want to mention the storm surge because there are storm surge warnings out. With a major hurricane, you get a very high storm surge, and some of these areas along the Texas coastline are susceptible uh, with Harvey. You can see this is an area of Victoria, Beeville. As we zoom in, we're looking at areas like Indianola and uh, areas like uh, Magnolia, Magnolia Beach, Matagorda Bay, North Sea Drift. Look at some of these surge values. You're getting up in the 10 foot of storm surge in areas of Indianola. Port O'Connor, you're right on the water. These little barrier islands, very susceptible to dangerous storm surge. So if you guys are watching from along this portion of the Texas coastline, uh, heed the advice of your local emergency officials and get out of Dodge because the storm surge with a major hurricane is nothing to mess around with. And remember, these are the storm surge values with a Category 1 or 2 hurricane, and this was prior to Harvey being upgraded to a hurricane. So now that we're talking about a Category 3 or 4 hurricane, that will increase the amount of storm surge that you could get. So if you're along these barrier islands, remember what Ike did to the Boulevard Peninsula up there? It's just better to get out. Just get out. It's not worth the risk to your life. Uh, your property can be rebuilt uh, but your life cannot if it's wrecked by a devastating hurricane, which Harvey may well be. So evacuation orders are out. People are boarding up. They're getting their supplies. They're getting out of Dodge. Hurricane Harvey rapidly strengthening in the western Gulf of Mexico, expected to be a major hurricane for the United States coastline. I'm Mike Naso, and I'll be back with frequent updates. I'll see you next time.